Reading the state's tribute, the Minister for Youth and Sports, the Honorable Mustafa Yusuf MP. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Kufado. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Al Haj Mahmoud Baumia. Honorable Chief of Staff, Your Excellency, the former President of the Republic of Ghana, the second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, colleague Ministers of State, Honorable Members of Parliament, the President of the Ghana Football Association and the Executive Council members, members of the Diplomatic Corps, our football legend here present, Nime Name, members of the clergy, our Ghana Supporters Union, your Excellency, thank you so much for the opportunity to reach the tribute on behalf of the states. As human beings, creatures of the Almighty God, departing from each other in response to the Creator's call is natural. But the departure of a patriot, full of wisdom, humility, kindness, and really is very, very painful. But as we always say, when there's such a painful departure occurs, we cannot question God. He knows best. The painful loss of our brother, Christian Achu, has undoubtedly created an indelible imprint on the minds and the hearts of compatriots, teammates, friends, families, and the nation. The government and Ghanaians in general will continue to remember Christian Achu as one of the committed dedicated and result-oriented youth and a football star of our time. Achu demonstrated the capacity to fully achieve his potential in his profession. His interest for developing and utilizing his talent for the Ghanaian people and beyond will forever remain a reference point. Throughout his career, Achu interacted with well-meaning Ghanaians and, and international partners at both personal and professional level. His first close interaction with the Ministry of Youth and Sports was his first call-up to the Blasters in 2012. His stellar performance with the Blaster right from his debut match against Lesotho on the 1st June 2012 at the Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumasi endeared him to many Ghanaians. As a new Blaster was born that day, no doubt. As one of the youngest players of the team, with much expectation from Ghanaians, he exhibited beyond the talent and skill known to many. When he scored a fifth goal in the Blaster seven goals crashing of Lusoto, indeed, the BBC described him as an excellent prospect, quick and technically impressive player with high potential in the national team. Achu continued to serve Ghana through the blaster in many assignments, including the African Cup of Nations in South Africa in 2013, Equatorial Guinea in 2015, Gabon in 2017, and in Egypt in 2019. He also represented Ghana at the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil. His most, most memorable performance with the blaster was in 2015, AFCON in Equatorial Guinea where he won the player of the tournament after his excellent performance helped the Blaster to reach the grand finale. In all the ministry inter interaction with the Blaster, Achu always displayed calmness, an, an attribute his mate has attested to. His acclaimed humane nature, friendliness, love for people, commitment to Mother Ghana, and the team spirit were exceptional and deserve emulation. Even at the peak of his career, Achu remained himself and was never overtaken by pride, arrogance, and indiscipline. On occasion of mourning our son, brother, and colleague, we believe that Christian Achu has graciously paid his dues to Mother Ghana, and memories of his commitment and contribution to our national team, the Blasters, will, for, will forever remain in the minds of both present and future generations. His legacy, will remain as inspiration to the, for the Blasters, the football fraternity, and in general, the youth of our country, Ghana. 
We pray that our brother, our son, our blaster, find the best place with the Lord. May his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Thank you so much, Your Excellency.